Panthers fans and NFL draft fans, welcome to Utility Sports. And in today's video, we're going to be covering pick number six of the NFL draft. And of course, sixth overall, the first offensive player off of the board in the 2022 NFL draft, the Carolina Panthers, who are considering trade down options, end up sticking with their pick and actually go in a different route than a lot of people expected. A lot of people were looking at the QB position, but instead Carolina opens themselves up to a brand new tackle in town, something they badly needed. The Carolina Panthers sixth overall select offensive tackle Iki Ekwanu from NC State. Of course, the North Carolina kid staying in Carolina with the Panthers here now. If you guys are new to the uh, to Utility Sports and to the channel, make sure to leave a like on today's video, especially Panthers fans, if you're excited about the Ikwanu pickup, which I think you should be. And then also, if you do enjoy NFL coverage, because this is the best place to be for that, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more future content. And now let's talk about Ike Ikwanu, otherwise known as Iki Ikwanu. And the reason why we should look at this as a really good pickup for Carolina is he's really mean. He's going to be a great run blocker. He can get up to the second level. Very good athlete at the offensive tackle position. He's strong, agile, good hands, uses his feet well, really good technique. He's really great in pass protection, but I think he's going to be dominant as a run blocker at the NFL level. Before this season, I think a lot of people looked at Evan Neal to be the first tackle off the board, but Ikemek Wanu actually held his stake and uh, jumped over Evan Neal for that first tackle off the board, right? And it's really well-deserved here. Carolina gets an awesome player in Ike Mekwanu, and I think there was a lot of debate here about what would happen. Some viewed Kenny Pickett, the Pittsburgh Panther, as a potential Carolina Panthers option. Other people looked at Evan Neal as a potential option here. People considered maybe trading down and then looking for Kenny Pickett later. There, everything was on the table here for Carolina, and I understand as to why. There's a lot of pressure on Matt Rule this year to get the job done, win more games, and maybe even make it into the playoffs. And if the Carolina Panthers can add more in days in day three specifically, they currently don't have any day two selections. We'll see if they can move back up. They're going to be in a pretty decent spot to at least try and make a run in that NFC South. The Buccaneers are still going to be tough. The Saints are going to be better. But we'll see. Maybe the Panthers can actually get the job done here. Ike Mekwanu, a really, really good pickup for the Carolina Panthers. I think realistically, when you look at this team, they needed to get better at running the football and throwing the football. And the best way to do that is to add a really mean offensive tackle. Quite clearly, they just cannot protect their quarterback all season long. The hope here is keep your QB upright. You have a really good playmaker in DJ Moore. If Christian McCaffrey can stay healthy, you have two guys who can be go-to players for your offense. You just need to be able to keep the QB safe protected and upright and then everything should go well from there for me i give this a draft grade of an a minus uh for me i did have icky Ekwanu over evan neal i just had icky Ekwanu a little bit lower than six on my board which is why i don't give it an a or an a plus but i think it is a very good requisite pick here for the carolina panthers they needed to get better up front i thought maybe a trade down and still trying to draft one of the top tackles could have made some sense as well clearly they didn't have a trade down option that they liked uh, but nonetheless, I think this is a good pickup for Carolina. They're in a really good situation now moving forward. And we'll see if some of their trades last year, specifically the one for CJ Henderson, who's still in the roster, if they can be good enough with a healthy JC Horn this year to make some noise in that NFC South. Panthers fans, if you did enjoy today's video and enjoyed the pickup of Iki Ikwanu here for the Carolina Panthers, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on today's video. Catch you in the very next utility sports video.